Okay, when you're doing scapular pressing to help you with winging of your shoulder blade or correcting your movement of your shoulder blade, trying to strengthen up serratus, that sort of thing, when you're going into retraction, sometimes what tends to happen is the movement goes incorrect at the end. And then we see this quite a bit in the clinic where people are doing, say, a scapular press against the wall and the movement, when they go backwards, the shoulder blade goes up. Now that might be you. If you find that when you try and do a scapular press and the shoulder blade comes back and then goes up or even rotates out, then this exercise is for you. What we've got to try and work on with scapular retraction is well, what's supposed to happen first is when she goes forward. So when the shoulder blade here, right, goes backwards, it's supposed to retract backwards all the way through. And so she goes right back into there and it stays level, okay? It's not supposed to fire that upper trap, okay? Your serratus anterior around here is supposed to essentially control it back as you go forward. And then when she pushes away, you get the concentric work of the serratus pulling around. Now, obviously, when you get that stronger, you get better flatter shoulder blades and you get less winging. But what tends to happen at this point here, if you lose, there's two things that's going wrong here. If you lose, the serratus control at that point of say it's weak, it'll let go, okay? And what will tend to happen is you pop up into that position. Or if you're very stiff, now this can happen sometimes in people who are a little bit older, if they don't have as much retraction here and they're very stiff when they come back, to try and get it back even further, they use their upper trap and their rhomboids, and what tends to happen is because the rhomboids are that way and the upper trap's that way, to pull them back, it actually pulls them up, which just goes out of position, okay? And again, if you're using sort of too much rhomboids, too much upper trap, that serratus is probably going to switch off a little bit and you'll lose that eccentric control. So what we tend to do is get people to use a band. Now, this band, let's go around the base there, around the that hand. This band is conventionally used for strengthening or increasing load to increase the strength. Now, you can do that. So if you nailed your scapular press and then you wanted to make that harder or put on some load, you'd use a band. But for this purpose, we're using a band for feedback. So that band, she can obviously push against and it gives something for her to fire her serratus against. But also, the, the tightness of the band, when she goes into retraction, so when she go, her body goes forward, that shoulder blade is coming back into here, it's actually getting pulled back, okay? So she's got a weight load bringing her forward, so it's actually allowing that to actually go backwards easier. All right, so she gets feedback to press and also feedback to get her pulling her into that position. So it pulls her body forward and she can just gently let it go rather than having to sort of lift it or use other muscles to pull it back, if that makes sense. Then when she pushes away, when she pushes through that hand, she's got that resistance here, okay, to actually stretch against, which will fire her serratus a little more. The only time you wouldn't use this band is if you're too weak. Like if you couldn't even fire your serratus, you wouldn't put any extra load on because then you'll just compensate. But if you've got enough strength and you're dealing with the shoulder blade that's popping up all the time, so when you come back, it pops up like this, then try the band, put that on and use it as a feedback tool. You've just got to go slow. So when you go in, you've got to work out to control it, to not let it go bang, come up, You've got to try and keep it down and then let it roll in all the way through there so it goes right back until so she just can't go any further and then push away and push that part. Now, some of you might also try and round your back here. So when you're pushing away, make sure that this part is not rounding out, okay? You want to push this away. So if you imagine like I've got my sort of hand or fingers here right next to the shoulder blade. So the shoulder is going to come into the fingers when she goes in. So it comes in towards my fingers. So there's the edge of the shoulder right there. Then she's got to put, put, think about pushing this that way. So she pushes through her hand, pushes my fingers that way. So she's just focusing on the shoulder blade part. She's not focusing on trying to round, get away from all and round out. It's very crucial to go and do a thoracic sort of flexion exercise like that to try and get your shoulder forward. It's not really going to do the job. So that's the other thing I want you to think about. Have someone, if you can, think about pushing in. So the shoulder comes into those fingers. And then when you push through that wall, push my fingers away. I've got a bit of load on there. 
and it helps her, it gives some feedback. And that's the key about this whole thing. The band is giving you feedback. If you've got someone else there as well, that can give you some feedback too. Now, if you struggle with the wall, okay, try it on the floor. So if we go into all fours there, Claire, use the same band, go into all fours. Now with this one, you've now got gravity as well. Okay, then that's helpful. So she get an idea of, okay, I've got to go towards the ground. And that sort of can be quite helpful for people because they go, okay, I get it, gravity, I'll just slowly let go towards the ground. So she now thinks about her spine going towards the ground and then letting that come in. Now, the band again is gonna give her some feedback, it's gonna pull her in. She's just gotta be aware that she doesn't let her shoulder go up to her ear when she's at the back, okay? Because then you know it's rolling out of position. Push away again for me. So you think about, that's my shoulder blade. I don't want it coming outwards and up to the ear. I want it going, if you go down for me, Claire, go in like that, okay? Not up and out. And then when she pushes forward, the shoulder blade's going like that. So imagine there's my shoulder blade. She goes in to there, and she comes right in, and then pushes on the ground, pushes the shoulder blade forward, pushes her body to the ceiling. Again, trying to remain flat through here, not doming up and rounding. And you may find on the ground, it's easier to sort of stay flat in there because you've got that gravity resistance. Um, and at the same time, just thinking about keeping that ear away from the shoulder. That's another tip is like, don't let your ear come up to your shoulder. When you go down, don't let it rise up. And then when she pushes away, think about pushing through the hand and pushing this up to the ceiling at that point. Now the only last take on tip which I tell everyone with shoulder pressing, or a scapular pressing, is trying to keep this one level. So if you look this way, you can see that if she drops down here, if you go down, she doesn't want to drop this right hand side, okay? She needs to keep looking in the mirror or something like that, that way and keep the opposite shoulder level, okay? So when she drops down, imagine two shoulder blades are here, one's coming in, okay? But it doesn't drop down on one side. She has to work on keeping that back to there because then she's working on stability through the shoulder. Okay, she's trying to work on a little bit of rotator cuff isometric work here as well. If she drops that down, she's going to lose that. All right, so she's got to keep that up. So then she it just actually isolates one shoulder blade at a time right into there and think about pulling it back, putting that lower corner back into here, not letting the lower corner drift away to the top that makes sense okay so if you're one of those people who've got that shoulder blade sort of going out of position when you retract try this exercise with the band and see if you can work on those cues to slowly get it in a better and better and better position and get your coordination better so eventually at the end of the day your movement controls better and then your strength will improve see how that goes see you next time